My name is Melanie Sander. I'm a first year in the MBA program. Um, came here from Boston most recently, but I've lived overseas and did a lot of, of work in education before deciding to come back to school. Um, I have a daughter who's two. I know that this is a step that I've needed to take in my life in order to really give my daughter the kind of life that I want her to have. And um, at the same time, I've been very intimidated by the idea of coming back to school just because I know how hard it is to be in school full time as a single person, and now I have this other person as well. Um, I think that for me, this was the right place because of having her in my life, um, knowing that a lot of other students here have families. I don't know that there are a lot of other single parents or mothers in the program, but there are some. And I connected with a lot of them before I, I even uh, started school because I wanted to get um, some ideas from them about how I could set myself up to be successful. And I think there are a lot of resources um, to, to really guide people in, in being able to do that with do this with a family. Really key for me, first of all, was just having my eyes wide open to what what it was going to look like when I started school. I didn't want to be uh, caught off guard and really surprised by how challenging it was. Although I will say it was definitely more challenging <laughs> than I expected. But you know, I had a chance to talk to a lot of women that are currently in the program or had recently graduated from the program that ta talked to me about their experience. And each person had a really unique situation. Mine is different from the rest of the women I talked to. But at the same time, I felt like there were a lot of commonalities that, that really helped me to feel like I could be successful. Um, they really coached me to, to think about you know, what, where my priorities were um, and to not stray from those. I really tried, to hi tried hard to find places where I could put my daughter during the day when I was in school that I knew she would be happy. And um, the MBASA, the MBA Spouse Association, has been an incredible resource for me. I've actually found um, all of the people who tended her through um, spouses of current MBA students and um, so she's been in homes where she's been loved and cared for with other kids to play with and, and that's meant the world to me knowing that I could leave her that she was fine she didn't she wasn't worried about me and I could go on with my day and um, I know that she was in good hands I also have family support out here and so that was one of my other considerations I've got some some siblings in the area and they're all busy with their lives and I would never have expected them to drop everything to you know to help me out but during especially busy times like final exams or or big projects, they've certainly been there for me. And if you don't have family resources, there are a lot of other people, neighbors, other students in the areas. I, I, I've had a lot of people say, hey, if you ever need someone, give me a call. Especially because a lot of, uh, a lot of people who come to BYU tend to be very family oriented, um, have families of their own or are planning to have families of their own. I think that it's, it's a place where uh, people are really open to, to that experience and, and be, be able to be supportive of you. Just knowing what I know about BYU, its brand, um, the kind of people who are drawn here, I felt like it would be a place where my family, my daughter especially, would have friends, where we would have uh, a bit of a family environment that we could really um, enjoy together and, and that I as well would, would have a very high caliber education and I absolutely have.